Let's take a look at the bricks and pieces in the Fast and Furious 1970 Dodge Charger RT. This is by LEGO Speed Champion, set number 76912. And it has, I believe, roughly 245 bricks. So this is what you get. What do we get in one of these things? I don't know. We're going to open it up and find out. We've got to push this down here. Now, this was obtained from the LEGO group for review. So today we're just going to be looking at the parts and stuff. And I think that's it. No surprises. Um, here we have a little small sticker sheet. At least it's not like there's a million stickers going on this model. And the instruction manual. And looks like we get two numbered bags full of fun and excitement. Well, just like with all these, we're just going to unbag it and see what we get in one of them. So obviously we're going to get parts, parts to make a car. Dodge Charger. Okay, so let's look at the main bricks in bag one. Seen these in a few colors. So we get a 4x8 by, by 2 thirds think, plate with bow and a vehicle chassis. I've never had one of these in person. Now I do. And that's how they put those pieces on the side. Don't worry, I won't be using those for tutorials yet. <laughs> and one of these modified, I guess, brick plate things that have the cross axle. And every time I film, there's always a helicopter flying overhead. And no, I'm not going to restart. So you also get several plates with bow. Like here's a 2x2x2 two by two by two thirds. And then, oh, this one's actually printed. Wow. Okay, so we actually get a... A 2x4. Do we have any more printed goodies in here? Am I missing something? Wheel wells. I have a few of these. Or mud guards. I have a few of these in red. But I don't know. If, maybe this is slightly different. I think the ones I have are just straight. This is actually tapered at the bottom. And a couple 4x6 plates. We see these in please. Don't tell me that big beautiful car is going to have this a little dinky steering wheel. I've seen those millions of times, even growing up in the 80s. We got a pair of pants. Here's a torso with very minimal print work. And a flesh tone head. Is it double sided? Nope. And do we have anything else in there worth mentioning? I may not be able to cover all the parts in these. I try to go through them quickly so I don't have to bore you. Um, a 1 by 2 by 1 and 2 thirds brick with four studs, a 3 by 3 plate in black, a couple of these downwards, 1 by 2 by 2 by 4 angular plates, get several of those, one of these modified plates with, uh, I don't know what they call it, a ball. Here's the hitch part that goes in there, presumably. 1 by 4 plates. Or two by eight plate, another three by three. Just your garden variety stuff. And before I forget, you also get a one by five plate. I'm starting to see these. These are going to be a very common part eventually. Right, let's see if we get in one of these other bags here. Okay. So far, the color palette is lacking, but I'm sure that. It's meant to match the theme of the vehicle. So you obviously get a 1x3 jumper plate. And, oh, one of these 1x1x1x2 one by one by one by upwards angular plates. Pretty cool. And a round plate with stick. Or 1x1 one one round plate with stick. Get a, one of these. Half rail, one by one tiles, regular one by one tiles, and yes, I'm yawning, and it's been a long work week. And a one by one by one by one downwards angular plate. So this has got a lot of stuff for vehicle building. And some quarter round, one by one tiles, round bricks, regular 
one by one bricks. Yeah. Maybe that's why I'm yawning. The color palette is not bright enough. It's just, yeah. Well, I do see some orange in there now. So transparent orange one by one plates. See these a bunch of Minecraft sets. Well, now we get them in here. One by two jumper plates. And I thought that was maybe metallic gray. No, that's a just standard dark stone gray. Some corner. Oh, are these printed? Oh, they're printed. This must be the brake lights. See if I can get that closer there. Is that that transparent red tile is printed as well as the one by two? Okay. I love printed stuff. Lego keeps putting the printed stuff on here. I don't mind paying extra for the printed stuff. I really don't. And some sticks. Some more of these uh, one by two number one plates. One by two plates. We also get some of the one by two cheese slopes. Yeah, you know, it's got a good variety of parts for making a vehicle for bag one. Okay, now I'm going to slide all that off. And we are going to do bag two. And now <laughs> I'm going to try my best not to mix these up. I don't want to have to be here all night trying to figure out what goes where. Okay. Well, we obviously get tires in there. They're rolling all over the place. So, and these tires already have the rims built in. So, looks like we won't be installing those on there. And we get a couple of windscreens. This is a 3x6x2. And this is a 3x4 and 1 and one third. A couple more of these mud guards. Some one by flat tiles. Lots of black pieces in here. If you're looking for black, there you go. Especially one by eight plates. And one by six plates. Oh. What is this? An 18 degree one by four slope. Get one of those. Oh, kind of getting out of frame there. I've seen these tiles. Oh, no, this is a different type. So you got the two Technic pins, uh, looks like they're friction pins, and then you got a friction stub on the back. Plus you get some regular flat tiles, some of these transparent one by one wall element or one by two wall elements, and a corner piece. Is this tile printed? No, it's not, but I guarantee that will get stickered. And an inverted two by two plate with bow. And the goal of these is to see what kind of treasures we can find in here. So, nothing too special in this bag. Just your garden variety plates. Well, you got a 2x2 two two modified plate with two studs. So, let me slide that over there. And let's tackle the smaller bags. Ooh, I see some goodies in this one. Let's see what we get in there. Obviously, you can tell there's some nice shiny things in there. So this must be the hubs. And these are metallic silver. Oh, they're printed on the other side, too. So not only that they're that, but these must be the hubcaps or the rims. Okay. You know, those would work good for regular vehicles, too. Maybe we'll have to scarf some of those up. We can only get four in there. Yeah, there's five. Any more shiny things? No. And we also get some 1x2 transparent clear plates. Some more number one, one by two plates. You know, I was looking for two by three flat tiles when I was making the gaming PC. Well, there they are. And some more two by two plates of bow. And a downwards one by one by one by two angular plate. And of course, we get corner wall elements and one by one bricks. And an upwards one by one by one by one angler plate. Round transparent orange flat tiles. One by one plates. Some corner flat tiles. Radiator grills. So 
Yeah, this one's not too bad. Let's take a look at the next bag here. And I'll give you my final thoughts. I always try to save those for the last of the part of the video. Okay. So quarter round, one by one flat tiles. Um, oh, okay. I was wondering what this is. This is a two-thirds brick or just a two-thirds plate. It's like a one by one brick, but it's like we get a you get a few of those. And we have ourselves a gray roller skate. So we're obviously going to be roller skating to the car. Huh? Some inverted 1x2 plates with bow. Round transparent clear flat tiles. Quarter round 1x1 one one flat tiles. We even got half round 1x1 one one flat tiles. Great for making side mirrors. And another one of these downwards one by one angler plates. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, let's take a final assessment of this. Now, for me, I'm not really into building vehicles, but just by looking at this alone here, there is plenty of pieces to build your own vehicle as well as the Dodge Charger. Um, you get the rims and stuff like that. The color palette is lacking in vibrant colors. It's just black, gray, and red. And some transparent. So, but it's meant to just match a theme. This is from the Fast and Furious. So, uh, any good parts for Mox? Yeah, there's a lot of parts in here you could use. For, well, a few parts, actually, you could use for Mox. It depends on what you're building, but... This, I, I don't honestly can tell you right now this is a really good source for making vehicles and inspiration. Uh, lots of good rare pieces you could use for making mini fixed scale vehicles. In my opinion though, not a bad selection of parts. 